Last time we were together, we talked about the weight of a fly rod and how that it relates to the weight of the fly line that you're trying to cast. And you remember, it's real simple math. A four weight fly line is designed to be cast on a four weight fly rod. Don't mean to insult anybody's intelligence. Simple math, a five weight fly rod requires a five weight fly line, a five weight fly line designed to be cast on a five weight fly rod, pretty simple. We also talked about the fact that your average Joe or average Jane, you're probably gonna start off with a four weight, a five weight, or a six weight fly rod. Anything below four is gonna be kind of a specialty type rod. You're gonna to have to have a special need and give me a good reason why you want a one, two, or three weight. And then same for above a six. If you want a seven, eight, and nine, you're gonna to have to have a specific need. Salmon, steelhead, saltwater, big time largemouth fishing, pike, musky, that type of stuff. So I'm just guessing that approximately 95% of you are all gonna be in this four weight or five weight or six weight category, okay? So the next variable, now that we've got that under our belts, the next variable is the length of the fly rod. And this is super, super easy. As a beginner, as an intermediate, and as an advanced fly fisher, most of your fly rods are gonna be eight and a half to nine foot in length. Again, average Joe, average Jane, eight and a half or nine foot is where you want to be for your first fly rod and probably most of your fly rods thereafter, okay? <clears throat> the fly rod is a flexible lever. And if you remember back from physics class, and we'll talk more about this when we get outside and start casting in this series, is that the longer the lever, the easier the job. And it's just that that eight and a half and nine foot is kind of where the industry has set a standard as to where that's going to balance perfectly in your hand it's not going to be tip heavy and that's going to, what's going to give you the best leverage in learning how to fly cast and then also give you the most reach in controlling what your fly and your leader do on the water so bottom line your first fly rod and probably many thereafter are going to be eight and a half or nine foot in length with nine foot by far being the number one selling length of fly rod at some point in your career, you may own a shorter fly rod, but that's gonna be a specialty rod. You're gonna to need to give me a good reason why you wanna go with a shorter fly rod. And same, if you wanted to go with a longer fly rod, that's gonna be a specialty tool that you're gonna to have to give me a good reason as to why you want a 10 or 11 foot rod. It's not where you wanna be in getting started, okay? So now we've talked about the line weight, we should understand that, and we talk, talked about the length. So let's take a quick look at the average Joe, average Jane category again. If you came to me and you said, Brian, I wanna be a trout fisher. I hear what you're saying about smallmouth bass and carp and all this other stuff available, but I wanna be a trout fisher let's say you know uh, my family owns a, a cabin in central Pennsylvania or I want to fish uh, some of the local trout around here I'm gonna recommend that you buy an eight and a half foot four weight fly rod that's gonna be uh, your best all around kind of do it all you can throw small streamers which are bait fish you can throw nymphs, which are gonna be below the surface, and you can throw dry flies, which are gonna float on the surface. Let's say if you came to me and you said, sure, of course I want a trout fish, but I'm very intrigued by all the smallmouth fishing around here, um, uh, and of course I hear what you're saying about carp, and if I see a carp, I wanna be able to throw a fly to it. And then my neighbor has this farm pond and he's got some average size largemouth in there, so I'd like to be able to throw some smaller bass bugs, okay? I'm gonna recommend that you purchase a nine foot five weight fly rod. By the way, a nine foot five weight fly rod is kind of industry standard. We probably sell 10 to one nine foot five weights over any other length and weight, okay? But if you came to me and you said, you know what, I'm a bass guy. I wanna catch green fish. I don't want any pinks or yellows. I want green fish. Small mouth and large mouth is where I wanna be. I'm not interested in trout. Well, 
a nine foot six weight is what I would recommend that you should get into, okay? So there you have it. You should have a good idea. You want your first fly rod to be eight and a half or nine foot in length. You're probably gonna be a four weight, a five weight, or a six weight, and that should give you a decent idea where you wanna be. So we'll wrap things up in our next episode where I'm gonna talk about fly rod action, and then we'll move on to lines, leaders, and we'll get to most everything you need to know. So thanks for watching, as always. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode here, and thanks for watching.